This week's Fastest Horse of the Week, as always, brought to you by the Fast Sires at Windstar Farm, and specifically this week, a sire that has had Breeders' Cup success. That would be the fastest son of Into Mischief. Life is good. The winner of the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile just three years ago this week here at Del Mar by five and a half lengths, the biggest margin at that Breeders' Cup in 2021. Got a 112 buyer speed figure. And oh, by the way, he comes back and he sets the pace in the Breeders' Cup Classic the next year, which was Flightline's Breeders' Cup Classic. And his first foals are looking pretty good too. They'll be on offer at Phasing Tipton and Keeneland November. And based on the sales of his end foal mares last year, which went for up to $1.2 million, uh, those will be in demand. Three-time grade one winner, Life is Good, stands at Windstar for a fee of $75,000. Fastest horse of the week with all the really top-notch names preparing for the Breeders' Cup. A couple of horses that we haven't talked about yet before. A tie, actually, with buyer speed figures of 99. First of all, Tarantino, who won an allowance race at Santa Anita October the 26th. An original yearling purchase by the Avengers and formerly trained by Bob Baffert. Then he bounced around a little bit. Rudy Brissett sold a couple of times. He wins that allowance race at 13 to 1 odds for his new trainer, Peter Erton, who claimed him for David Bernstein and Rockingham Ranch back in July at Del Mar for $40,000. The other one, Determined Kingdom. Only a Keeneland will a race fill that's for non winners of four other than. Allowance race at Keeneland the day before on October 25th, determined Kingdom at five and a half on the turf, won it by two and a half lengths, matching that 99 buyer speed picker. Co, fastest horses of the week.